Roger's favorite uh, Bond was The Spy Who Loved Me. I think that's the one he was most proud of. Um, and it's where it, it came to fruition, his ability to walk into a room and find humor and play with the objects and make them humorous. And so that, that they introduced a little bit more of that quip, a little bit more of that tongue in cheek. Just didn't take himself very seriously. And I think that that's, that's part of his success as Bond. Barbara Broccoli and Michael, Michael G. Wilson, probably the, the best duo producers you know, on the planet. They just know how to you know, keep, keep with the times. And so choosing Omega was, I think, quite appropriate. But I think Omega suited the, the Craig era. Um, and you know, whereas Roger with the Rolex, started off with the Rolex and so, but he, he liked his Omega. Not many people know or knew that uh, Roger, in his contract, wasn't allowed to uh, ski. So, in fact, he, he never really skied uh, until his last bond, and that's when he started skiing, I think, in 85, after a view to a kill. And then he just he couldn't get him off the skis. It took quite it took guts to, to go out there and, and, you know, and not have a problem or an issue with being a beginner considering that you know he's doing backflips and jumping jumping off mountains <laughs> with the parachute. And on View to a Kill, I remember I worked with him I and mean, I worked on the film, I was a runner, and I'd get a ride in with him in the morning and uh, that's when we used to go over the lines. Actually, I did quite a few films with him doing, it, doing his lines and reading. He'd just read it before going to bed, read it first thing in the morning, having his breakfast, wait, drive to the studio, that's when he'd start to say, okay, okay. And then during the makeup, uh, he'd light up a cigar and, and forget about it. He used to doodle a lot when he was on the phone. It sort of helped him think. Um, he, was a, he was a brilliant artist. I mean, he was a cartoonist, a trained cartoonist. Yeah, so he was, he was very talented with a, with a pen. You know, when he used the, uh, the Mont Blanc, uh, which was only at home, you couldn't really take that out. It really was a piece to, it's at your desk. And his handwriting was just absolutely exquisite. Dougie Hayward um, wasn't just the tailor for James Bond, but he was also the tailor for Roger Moore. The material they chose in, in A View to a Kill, uh, I believe it was at the Eiffel Tower, and he watches uh, Grace Jones jump off in a parachute. He's wearing the, the tuxedo. It also had to be comfortable because he was running around. Um, and it couldn't be, I think they chose that, that hue as a sort of a, a blue to it. And then in Chantilly at the, the, the racetracks with Christopher Walken. And, and that's where he spots Grace Jones again. He's putting two and two together and he's wearing the, 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 the three-piece suit, I believe. If anyone were to ask uh, Roger, or my father, my late father, what would be, uh, what would you consider your best role? Um, he would have said, UNICEF, being an, a goodwill ambassador. That was his, I think his, he was most proud of.